In this video, I'll show you how to set a price for attributes in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. So for example, if you run an art store, you might want to offer different um, frame sizes at different price points. And we can add those frame sizes as attributes in WooCommerce and then assign a different price point to it. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to WeSuite.com. Go ahead and download the WeSuite variation swatches plugin. So once we've done so, let's head over to our dashboard. Okay, and I've already downloaded the plugin. So to accomplish this, we'll need a free and a pro version. Okay, so I've already downloaded the free version. And then once you've downloaded the pro version, just navigate to add-ons and then go ahead and activate the pro version. Okay, so with that out of the way, I'm going to assume that you haven't created any attributes or um, any variable product in your WooCommerce store. So we'll start from the beginning. So we'll create our attributes, then we'll go ahead and create our products, and then we'll create, um, we'll assign the price to our attributes. So those are the three steps we'll take. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our attributes now. Um, so I'll navigate to products and then attributes. Okay, so I've already created two here. So here, Okay, so where it says add new attributes, I just created um, color and then um, size. So let's add a new one just so you can see the process. So I'll create fabric and then I'll click add attribute. This test store is selling um, fragrance, so it wouldn't make sense. So just for example sake, I'll walk you through adding the attribute and the attribute terms as well. Okay, so under fabric, we're going to go ahead and add a few attribute terms. For example, um, cotton, silk, linen and so on. Okay, so I'll just click configure um, term and then here I'm going to go ahead and add our first term which will be cotton and then I'll click add to well add new fabric. Okay, and then we can select silk here. Okay, and this will be it for my um, attributes and attributes term. Okay, and then if we click edit. Okay, so we can head back to attributes. Okay, so currently we've got three different um, attributes. We've got our color attribute, fabric, and size as well. Okay, and now we've created our global attributes. We can actually go ahead and create our products now. So we'll navigate to um, products and then add new. Okay, and we'll just say test product. Okay, so you just give your product a name. Um, we can add a featured image for our product. Okay, for example, this. And okay, so we'll add our featured image. We'll add um, our category and any other um, product tags. So we'll add our category and then you can go ahead and add um, your product tag if you wish. And then here where it says product data, we're going to change this to variable product. Okay, and then we'll navigate to attributes. And then here we'll go ahead and select an attribute from our um, global selection. Okay, so we can say, um, all right, let's go with the same art um, example, right? So maybe we just want to say color, then we'll click add um, attribute. Okay, and then from here we can select the various different attributes. I'm just going to go ahead and select all attributes. And then I'm going to select here where it says use for um, variations and we just click save attributes okay and then I'm gonna add a, another attribute so I'm gonna add our size attribute okay again I'm gonna select our options here we can select it individually or we can just um, select all and then I'm gonna tick use for variations save changes okay and before we actually add our attribute fees I'm going to go ahead and just um, configure our variations first. So you can um, add the fees first, but I just want it to structure it so it makes a bit more sense. So I'm going to add um, all our attributes here. So we're creating the variations from all the different attributes. Click OK, and it's added six different variations. OK, so I'm going to actually add a price to my variation. So you can add it individually. So you can um, add the prices here. But in this case, I'm just going to quickly bulk add a price to all variations. So I just selected regular price, click go, and then I'm going to set the price to um, $50. Okay. So all the variations now will be $50. Okay. And we can customize it here. We can add a sale price if we like. And then now we'll just go ahead and add our attribute fees. Okay. So we'll navigate to your attributes here. 
and then for the size I'm gonna add a different fee okay so here you can see this option which says extra um, fee for attributes but this is only showing because we've enabled um, the Bruce Suite Variation Swatches Pro okay so for our 100 mil we're gonna add a extra charge of um, let's say $45 and then maybe for the 50 mil there won't be any extra charge right so we'll just click save um, attributes and I mentioned we'll use our painting example but since it's a perfume store we'll just stick to the perfume example <laughs> Okay, so if we, if we can imagine we've got different um, deodorants or perfume and then we've got various sizes and the different size will cost more obviously. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and hit publish and then we can review the changes on the front end. Okay, so we'll click view product. Okay, and then here we've got um, our color selection and we've got our size selection. We can see this extra charge here. Okay, so this is this plane like this because um, I was testing out the variation, our variation swatches plugin earlier. So this is why it's showing these image swatches, but we can quickly change it by navigating to WeSuite and then we'll go ahead and select variation swatches. We're going to set um, the color swatch um, as a label. Okay. So we'll disable this option where it says auto convert to image. So um, we've got a feature where if you set a featured image for each variation, we can automatically use it as a um, swatch. Okay. But since we haven't specified any image, that's why it was showing blank. So I'll link a video showing you how you can configure your swatches using this plugin. Okay. So now let's refresh this page and this should be a label just like this one here. Okay, so if we select this blue option and then we go for the larger size, we can see the extra charge is being applied. Okay, so the price was displaying um, differently earlier because we've got this toggle switch down here where we can show the price including VAT or excluding VAT. So earlier it was showing the price including VAT. So if we switch this to on, we can see the price will update to include VAT. Okay. So we've got a different video as well showing you how you can create a tax toggle widget just like this. I'll link it in the description below and you'll also see a video link somewhere around this page here. And that's how you add an extra fee per attribute in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.